I wanted to get some insight from our own former NFL player, Coy Wire, about how this is being received currently in the NFL or former players, but your own experience with it as well in terms of concerns about concussions. Morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Robin. And I talked to several former college players, NFL players last night, and I said, how does this make you feel hearing a study like this? And we've heard studies similar before. This one a bit more shocking because of those players who were studied. And remember, all former football players, all whose families likely thought they had an issue before they died. They were showing symptoms of CTE, perhaps. Uh, nearly all of these NFL players were shown to have CTE. Um, so it was concerning. There were words like curious, scared came up when talking to some of these athletes. Um, but what this does is it, it, it just lets us know, confirms that there is a connection between CTE and playing a contact sport like football. The NFL just publicly announced last year. Last year. Right? I mean, so yes, yeah, this is also new and there are more questions. You know, are there gonna now be other athletes from other sports who are gonna donate their brains? We know that Dale Earnhardt Jr. from NASCAR has already committed his brain to CTE research. So has Brandy Chastain, women's soccer star. Uh, are more athletes gonna start donating their brains? How, how are other sports affected by repetitive hits to the head? What about joggers who just repeated heel blows but running? How does that affect the brain? We don't know, but we do know with football there is a connection and we also know what the NFL thinks about this. Let's check a statement from them. In part, it said, we will continue to work with a wide range of experts to improve the health of current and former NFL athletes, unquote. And for me, Robin, this is about teaching younger athletes that brain trauma is real. It's not just a concussion or a ding in the head anymore. And I like to tell young athletes- But what athletes, are you supposed to do, not hit as hard? It's, it's hit smarter, right? Okay. There's new ways to tackle now. We know that. There are, there are missions by organizations who teach kids the proper way and to tackle. And you get penalties if you're not doing it correctly That's anymore. That's exactly right. You get slapped on the hand or pulled by the ear like my karate master used to do to me when I did something incorrectly. But also learning about afterwards, recovery. When you get a concussion, my mantra is it's okay not to play. If you don't feel complete, don't compete. If you don't feel right in the head, rest instead. That is the new message that we have to get out there to these younger athletes. Concussions are a serious deal, and it's okay. If you get hit head in the head, you can sit out, and you can get back out there the next week for your team. You played six years ago. We didn't have as much knowledge. No. And even when you didn't feel good, and said something, uh, how was that received? Uh, there was pressure to perform, self-imposed for one. You're thinking about keeping your job, it's highly competitive, but also from the coaches back then, they didn't know how serious this stuff was. So I personally had coaches look me in the eye and their face get red when I tell them I didn't think I was ready to get back out on the field. They were wanting you to get back out there and do well so the team could win. It's a highly competitive league. Now the education is there, coaches are smarter. They know that this is a real deal. People are taking their own lives because of this connection with this brain disease um, and I think we're seeing great change.